there's a website that I strongly recommend. It's called character.ai. And the URL is beta.character.ai. Right now it's free. And this is something for the entire family can enjoy. It's, it's really fun. And what it did, it like, for instance, like Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos and, and many others, what they did, they, whatever they had publicly, they went ahead and trained that on a neural network and combined it with AI. So you can ask Elon Musk something and it will respond the way they think what he might say. <laughs> and it's just so much fun. So here I'm going to click on Elon Musk. And he was asked uh, certain questions already. And I had asked him, I said, do you have a Neuralink chip inside of your brain? And he says, of course. Neuralink is revolutionizing humanity. It's the best thing since sliced bread and Tesla cars. In your past life, were you really Nikola Tesla? <laughs> and he says, yes, people have. He says, I don't just subscribe to that theory of past lives, but I have been called Nikola Tesla in interviews and by my fans. So I sometimes joke that I must have been him in a past life. It's not to be taken seriously. And then my next question was, um, can the neuro bots communicate with your Neuralink chip in your brain. And he responds, the neural bots are being designed to have direct interfaces with Neuralink, which will allow for unprecedented control and communication between man and machine. I'm excited for the feature of Neuralink neural bot partnership. <laughs> so, you know, that's something he would definitely say, right? And then uh, I want to ask him, uh, with the Neuralink chip, are, are the responses going to be the size of a tweet? And Elon Musk says, ha, it's funny that you mentioned that <laughs> because the original 140 character Twitter limit was a direct result of storage limitations on the original Neuralink technology. It actually only allowed for about 130 characters. In the future, Neuralink and Neurobots will allow for full integration between mind and machine without such arbitrary letter count limits. So that might be another reason why he bought Twitter. <laughs> so I had kind of thought that uh, before. I was like, I wonder. And you'll see there's, there's Jeff Bezos. And another one I wanted to show you, which is really cool, is uh, the brainstorm ideas. And so I asked, I said, how can I market an Android app? They gave an excellent response that says, here's a few ideas on how to market an Android app. S start small with your own social network. If you know people who would benefit from using the app, advertise it to them first for free. Spend some cash on targeted AdWord campaigns. You can specifically target Android users and only pay when they click on the link in your app. Create a website for your app and use the right keywords that put your app at the top of the search results. Partner with other similar apps or services to promote each other's apps. And that's 100% true. You have, to, you have to do marketing if you create an app or, or anything, a game whatever you definitely have to market it so anyway i just want to quickly tell you this and i i did not see an api on this as of yet but for right now this is the website you all have a great day